Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I have a great Microsoft Excel pivot table video for you. This video actually covers three different potential groups. One, you've never made a pivot table dealing with dates and something numeric. That item that's numeric could be how much money you make in every day, your revenue. If you ran a call center, it could be how many calls are coming in every day of the year. Uh, it could be number of subscribers. So just to be clear, that's my watch time for my YouTube videos. Um, I'm very private. I don't share a lot of YouTube stuff, especially my revenue, but I don't mind showing you my watch time for 2020. So here's what I want to know. For the month of January, how much watch time did I have for Sunday? All my Sundays combined. The same thing for Monday, Tuesday, and then not just January, let's do every month of 2020. So if you take a look at my data, I'm in cell B2. If I go to the bottom of this data, there's 12-31-2020. Every day for the year 2020 here. And again, if you're a business person, it's probably going to be your net profit, your revenue, it could be an expense item. So this is going to be a really cool video. Also, if by chance you are a YouTuber, I pulled this data right from my YouTube analytics. It popped right in here as a comma separated value and I made it Excel. So you could do this with your data. So if I had to take a guess, because I look at my analytics in YouTube, I'm going to say somewhere Monday through Thursday, one of those days are going to be my best day for the year and probably for most weeks and probably for most months. And I'm going to say it's either going to be Tuesday or Wednesday, but let's take a look at this. Now, if you, there's chapters down below also if you want to jump around. So now if you've never made a pivot table ever in your life, I'm going to quickly make one. And then I'm going to do one Excel function that you need to know because I need to show the day of the week. But if you're saying, Chris, what's a pivot table? Why would I want to use it with dates? Here are dates in column A. There's something numeric in B. Notice if I wanted to sum up January, I could obviously highlight January 1st down to January 31st. And in the bottom right here, 5,069.78. I could come do the sum function here. Well, I want to do it not only, I want to do it for every month. So let's just let the pivot table do it. A pivot table will click quickly summarize your data. If anyone tells you that pivot tables are hard, they're lying to you. Here you go. I'm in my data. Insert pivot table. Pull that up on the screen. It picked up my entire range. So I didn't even select the range. It did it. And it's going to put it in a new worksheet. Right now I only have one worksheet in the bottom left. When I click OK, these two fields, date and watch time, will appear over in the right. Here we go. I'm going to check date. Remember, it was January 1st, January 2nd. Watch what it does. It puts it down here in the row area. And it quickly said, okay, I'm going to put these together as months. And then I'm going to check watch time. There you go. I summarized my watch time for every month that quickly with the pivot table. So I'm going to leave that one there for you. By the way, that was five clicks to make that pivot table to figure out what was my watch time for every month. Five clicks. The one Excel function that I need to do and that you will need if you want to do this, and I would imagine that this is going to be really popular, I need to know what day of the week it is. The function I'm going to use is the text function. This is the only function we're going to do. If you notice, I did equals text. I'm in cell C2. It's going to convert a value. My value is the date that's in A2 to a specific number format. So equals text, open parent, A2, comma, how do you want it formatted? In Excel, the word month, an M would be a 1. Two M's would be zero one. 
Three M's would be J-A-N abbreviated. Four M's would be January spelled out. So the letter D, one D is the number one, two D's is zero one, three D's would be the day abbreviated, Monday would be M-O-N, Tuesday would be T-U-E, four D's would be the day of the week spelled out. I put this screenshot here for January just to show you that January 1, 2020 is a Wednesday. You do have to put this in double quotes. I decided I want to see the day of the week as three letters. If you recall, one, one D would be one, two Ds is O, one, three Ds should be the day of the week abbreviated. That is your function right there. Wednesday, January 1, 2020. It is a Wednesday. Just take a quick look. I should get Thursday, obviously. I do. Looking good. Crosshairs, bottom right, double click. There you go. So now that we've done that formula or function, that was the text function, let's make the pivot table now. So insert, pivot table. It'll pick up my entire range. New worksheet, sure. Notice it does have the letter C up here, the column C. Click OK. Here we go. I should have how many fields over in the far right? I should have three because I got three fields here. I do. The first time I made the pivot table, I was doing some clicking, just checking them. I like to drag and drop. Microsoft actually recommends that you start off in the values. So that is going to be watch time. So watch this, drag and drop. So it's usually going to be something numeric that you put here in the values. Sum of watch time, there it is, right there. I know that that's sitting there. That is a pivot table. Just right there is a pivot table. Let's add to the pivot table though. I want the date. I'm going to drag and drop. I always, Microsoft says start off with the values. I like to start off with the rows, but starting off with the values, I can't fault them on that. So I'm back, basically, look, to that very first one we did right here, sheet one, sheet two at the bottom. I'm still on sheet two. Day of the week, just to show you this, watch this. Remember, that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If I put it below the date, watch what it does. Nothing. Act like I didn't put it below the date. Act like I put it here in the columns. I forgot that's where I need to put it. There you go. So there is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, grand total. Just so you know this, watch this. I'm going to take it back down here since I made that mistake. Uh, it's not expanded. That's why it's doing that. But there you go. I could do this. Just to show you this, look. Month. I'm losing in date, I'm losing by just dragging them and putting them back up here. So there's my total for every day for the entire year. But that's really not what I want. So one more time real quick. I've lost that. Here we go. I've started here. So date, drag it and drop it. Day of the week over to the columns because it runs across row four. There's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is actually what I wanted. I don't like the way it looks, so let's fix this real quick. Normally, this is not how I would change the number formats in a pivot table. To make this easy, I highlighted the numbers, comma, no decimals. Also, I don't like this format. When you're in a pivot table, you know, my pivot table fields are over here to the right. If I click out of here, my pivot table field list will disappear. Click back in here, pivot table analyze and pivot table design, analyze and design. These are my two contextual tabs. What is a contextual tab? Watch this. Click outside the pivot table. There's no pivot table analyze and design. Click back in them. That is called a contextual tab. So I've got two contextual tabs when I'm in the pivot table. Design, I just don't like this layout. I'm going to click here for these styles. It's up to you. You can mouse over. It'll show you how it looks when you mouse over. I'm going to take this one right here. 
That looks to me easy to read, especially because I'm recording a video. I'm not done. Just a couple minor items, just so you know this. This actually is perfect right here as far as the data that I wanted to see. Because this is proven to me Mon Sunday through Saturday. I'm going to just align those to the right. Home tab, alignment, align to the right. It's just easier. If you look down here at these grand totals, I knew it would be Monday through Thursday. And I thought it would be Tuesday and Wednesday. And look, they're really close. But Wednesday edged out Tuesday by just a hair. Minor items, just so you know this, if you don't want to see the grand totals, Pivot table, the design contextual tab, grand totals, off for column and rows. Now I don't have any grand totals. Why did my pivot table field list disappear? You know this because I'm actually outside the pivot table. Click back in it. There it is. Design, if you want them back on, on for rows and columns. It's up to you. I'm going to just quickly resize this just a tad. There I go. And you know what? I decide I do want to see the pivot table grand totals. Now I'm thinking about this. So there we go. Sunday through, uh, Sunday through Saturday grand total right here. I do want to see that. Zoom in just a little bit so you can see it a little easier. How about that? One last item about this formatting. In case you're wondering why do they have these plus symbols over here because remember our data was January 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Come back over here. If you click on a plus symbol, it'll expand January for you. I don't need this in this example. So here we go. Pivot table analyze. The show group has plus and minus. I'm, just, I'm continuing to keep clicking it, but look at column A while I'm doing that. There you go. So pivot tables are really simple. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe if you have any questions about this. Let me know. Uh, I try to go a little slower than I normally do in this video. In case you're wondering, can you reproduce this? Sure, I will put this file There'll be a link down below in my YouTube description that'll take you to this file. When you download it, I'll have this already set up completed, but then I'll also have a spreadsheet where you can do this from scratch. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.